Hey guys, I don't think we're going to be able to make it to Hollywood tonight. So I'm at the, I was close by to the North Hollywood um, Center. So I'm going to check it out. And then I want people to let me know if I'm lagging here. Because it's always lagging down at Hollywood. And I don't know why. So I don't know what's going on here. Um, I saw somebody come in. And so, it looks good right now, awesome. I'm gonna see, cause if it's always lagging there and it isn't lagging here, then that tells us something. Now that's, a, there's a lot of people in here for something, cause that's their parking lot over there and it looks like it's kind of full. I believe this is where they actually have like their services or a good, no lag, that's awesome. So I figured tonight, cause it's supposed to be really windy, like high wind advisory anyway, and, and I'm having technical issues. <laughs> with the chair so i thought i'd check out this since i was in the area whoops and we'll see what north hollywood's like you know like see what's up here um so i'm gonna try to read everything at the same time it's, it's dark out here now this is a huge campus and i've been inside it is beautiful the history of it was a it was an event it was a church i guess that went out of business years and years ago um and so they, uh, it was abandoned for a long time. And so um, they eventually took this property over, I'm going to say maybe six or seven years ago. And I've been in it once because they had like a neighborhood uh, emergency preparedness thing with LAPD, which I felt was inappropriate. <laughs> but um, I did a go because I was part of the emergency preparedness thing. Uh, what's going on here tonight? Is it classes or are they? Is there a service? Okay. He doesn't know what's going on here. And then, um, yeah, Tammy, I did get it. Thank you. I, I saw the um, the drone, and I have a drone. Like I wanted to learn how to bring it. Maybe I'll bring it. We could like go uh, fight. Hey, I'm I'm lying. So. We have someone else here, but uh, letting them know that I'm working. I'm not talking to myself. Um, no, this is not Big Blue. This is North Hollywood. And this one needs to be shut down, too. They, these, they all need to be shut down. They took over this and in the neighborhood, and they promised all this stuff, like they were going to fix this and that in the neighborhood, and they didn't. But they do put money in the neighborhood, I guess, so people think they're okay and they don't complain. I don't know everything. I'm just giving you the whole how huge this this. It's not huge tall, but look how long it is. It's like, and we're going to try to, uh, there's a lot of cars. So I'm going to try to get people coming and going. Um, and hopefully we'll get somebody. That guy didn't want to talk. And yeah, it's all this Scientology everywhere. Like I know in the Hollywood one, they try not to show Scientology, I guess because they're recruiting but here, look, they have it like up at bright lights. They're very happy. I guess because they're recruiting. But here, look, they have it like up at bright lights. They're very happy. Well, this, I don't know. Like I said, I, I, like when I went for the, that emergency preparedness thing, which was annoying because I got my address, my email address from um, LAPD because it was like they, uh, on a mass mailing about this emergency preparedness. And they took that address, my email address, and started trying to recruit me. And since I guess I was a LAPD emailer, they were offering me, instead of having to go through the regular way of, um, you know, recruiting, I was offered all this VIP, you know, they come, they, you know, and all this stuff. And, and I said, I got upset because I told, the, you know, LAPD, hey, I'm not inviting this attention they got my email from you guys. You put that, you know, because they're on um, their CPAD. Uh, Scientologists, there's two Scientologists on the LAPD Community Police Advisory Board and the police department's a block that way. And so, um, you know, it took three times of telling the police department, hey, I don't want them, uh, they won't leave me alone. They finally threatened them if they don't stop uh, trying to recruit me that they're gonna have to leave C, you know, the CPAD. 
And so then I finally, that's, uh, so they finally did stop the harassment. But it was endless trying to recruit me, you know, um, v, you know, offer VIP, uh, like one on one with the, like the assistant, the second in command and all this crap. It's like, I'm not interested. I don't know what that says up there. Oh, Valley. That's, it's the Valley Division. I would love to get a drone out here, though. I don't know if we could go over their property, but it, it is a beautiful campus. It is. I'm like, it's just so sad that it's Scientology. It just makes me sick because they have a, um, I don't know, it's new, it's beautiful. And I, I want to find out. I know LAPD used to hold a lot of stuff here. I want to find out they got new captains that they are still holding stuff here. And maybe people can put phone pressure. Um, yeah, I, I am. I, I got people with me. No, I'm not at the info center tonight. I'm at the North Hollywood one, and I'm trying to see what's going on, because they said they I was in the area, so I wouldn't be able to go down to Hollywood probably. So it was either this or nothing. And it said they were open tonight. Like, I see cars in the parking lot. So I'm going to try to see what I can get. Um, but I'm not alone here, so you don't have to worry. But hold on. And let me see. See, look at everyone in the parking lot. And it said they're having classes tonight. So I'm hoping I can get people as they're leaving. That's my goal. So I hope you... I, I'm sorry. I'm missing a lot of the chat. So I don't know what's going on. All to actually... Oh, yeah, yeah. No, I can be here. This is public um, sidewalk. I can't go on their property or into their property, you know, without being invited. or, And I wouldn't even attempt it because... Um, you know, I don't, I, I don't need to be trespassed. But look how bold they are with, like, here in North Hollywood, man. We're stuck with their, like, at least, I, I kind of give, I'm happy in Hollywood. They're kind of low-key. Here, there's, like, real out in the open, I, I, you know. But let me see what they got here. There's, I don't know, what's that say? Oh, the valley. This is the valley one, but I'm waiting for people to come out. You missed three people already. I did? Yeah. From where? They're coming right here. Where? Oh, in here? Okay, guys. I, 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 turns out I missed three people, so um, hopefully I don't miss any more. We're in the North Hollywood building. No, not the blue building. It's the North Hollywood one. It's their newest campus. It's new. Um, at the blue building. It's the North Hollywood one. It's their newest campus. It's new. Um, it, look at their email. Like, look at science. Sir, are you a Scientologist? What goes on here tonight? Sir? Do they recruit here? Okay, so he ignored me, but they're letting them know I'm here. So good. I hope they call the cops and the cops can ask me why I'm here and I'm just asking questions. I want to see if they recruit here because when I read the, if go to the website for Scientology, like the, um, Val, the Valley, what do they call it? It says, um, I don't know if it has something here, but if you look at the Valley one for Scientology, it's in North Hollywood. It said it has some classes tonight or till 10 and um, another one till 7 and it talks about personality tests and stuff so I think they may be doing some recruiting here I want to come during the day to, to see if they do the recruiting like they do in Hol I mean it's not going to be like Hollywood I know it's not going to be that intense but I want to find out what they're doing here so it's either, it was either this or nothing so I figured out you know because I, I, I was able to swing by here real quick so I hope it's not too boring tonight let's see what happens I didn't even get to tell the other people down there that I'm here. I know SP Spanglish comes here um, every now and then. And I told him I'll come with him the next time he comes. But I just like, let me check it out. Yeah, no, I'm going to be careful. I know. This one is, it's a lot of traffic. See, it's on like a, a busy street. Well, Hollywood Boulevard's busy too. This is just a different vibe. Like I said, it's sad. They got a really beautiful building. But it's just lit up Scientology everywhere. They do have ADA access. But see, look at that. It's lit up. But yeah, if anyone can look up the Valley one and see. Oh, thank you, Crystal. 
Thank you. Um, no one else. I mean, I'm just here with, you know, a uh, bike guy and a, and a friend. Just, you know, for my safety, more or less. Watch for SPs creeping in the shot. Yeah. I wish SP was here. Oh, uh, here's someone up here. When they come out, I'm just going to ask them all, you know, what, what, it, what do they do here? She probably... Hi. What do they do here? Do they do the recruiting here? I'm just trying to find out what they do. Huh? Oh, I'm afraid I'll get in trouble if I go in because I'm not invited. Oh, no, no. What? Well, yeah, I would, I'd be afraid like they'd get upset because I'm like, you know, but do they, is this like we're like a church service here? Is that what they're doing tonight? Like a church service? I'll think about it. I'm kind of nervous, but thank you. No, I don't want to. I'm afraid to go in. Because. I, yeah, I might send my friend in. That's what I should do. But the, he might be. Uh, in my trap him. Have you have you been in it long? Pardon? Have you been going here long? Yeah. Oh, I'm just a visitor for this church. I work at another church. Oh, okay. Well, thank you. Oh, thank you so much for the gift, horror. Thank you so much. Send someone else in the... Yeah, you know what? We need someone to go undercover that they've never seen before. Because... Um, like I said, the people that would, were like bombarding me from here, it's like the director here from like the, you know, she, you know, and I got LAPD to get them to stop harassing me. So I don't know if I'd be welcome in there. You know, I, that lady was sweet. I, I think she meant well, but I should send somebody in with the undercover camera, but maybe not tonight, you know? Yeah, no, I definitely want to send him in. They, I think they do... I, I, you know, they probably do know who I am. Like the one, not all of them know. They don't all know who I am. But I got into because they kept bombarding me because they got my email address from a mass mailer um, for the, an emergency preparedness, and I didn't give them permission to contact me. I told them not to contact me, and they kept contact. It doesn't matter how much you tell them not to contact you. That's the truth. People are right about that. They will keep harassing you. Um, I had to talk to the captain three times before he threatened to kick them off of the CPAP thing. So, um, it, it, it's, yeah, it's bad. I, I don't, and I don't want to go in, like, in case, like I said, I know I'm not trespassing, but they, they got to know who I am from the, uh, you know they're watching these. I think that lady was a, probably a really sweet lady, but if I go in there, come on, we're all on camera down there, you know what I mean? Like, they're, they're going to know. They have to. And then all I need is the cops to come and like trespass me and so I don't want to go through that I don't know what that if that's court or but I need to get someone down here but I'm going to see if anyone else I hope it's interesting enough I'm sorry I'm not down there um Chris Hellcat should go in a police jet yeah you know what that'd be a great idea someone that can run out like I couldn't run out if I needed to run out but um I don't trust these people man they, they scare me like I said I've been in this campus um for that big, they had this huge community emergency preparedness event. And I complained about it being at Scientology. A bunch of the community complained and LAPD didn't care. They're like, well, they're offering us this free building and it's beautiful and it will you know, hold enough people. And um, and a lot of people complained that we don't want to hear it anymore. We, we're using it. And there's other places is it no this is north hollywood close yeah and i'm close to um valley village but it's um in north hollywood it's like a block away from the police department you know and so um they the, the police did not want to hear that the community a lot of people in the community there's like we're not going to this emergency preparedness bull, um thing if it's there i had no choice because i was working on the emergency preparedness event before we knew where it was going to be held and so, um, you know, I didn't just quit. I, I went through with it, but, um, oh, thank you for gifting me, and thank you. And Horror Girl, thank you so much. And anyone else, if I missed you, forgive me. I, uh, yes, the next shutdown. Yes, Linda, I figured 
when I can't go down um, to Hollywood, um, it was I had a little couple of scary incidences yesterday. I had an incident with my chair. Uh, I was crossing the head boulevard and it just shut down. So um, I kind of want to see how it's, hopefully it's fixed and everything's okay. So I don't want to, you know, go all the way down there. It's really bumpy and like it, I'm, I have to stop and start a lot because there's, there's a lot of people. So I thought this was a good idea. Like let make sure my chair is okay and see what's going on here. I haven't, um, I have not been, like I said, I, I, I've passed by, I've been in it once. And I pass by it every now and then because sometimes, you know, I have to go, we scoot down here if we need to do certain things. But um, I would love to get in and like see it again, but I can't go in. But I would love to get somebody in there to, or if there's, an, if there's a public event, then I, but I don't even want to go in there. I'm telling you, I don't want, I don't want no, we need to, but it's really pretty. They have beautiful gardens. They have, it's really pretty. It's just a shame that's freaking Scientology. Imagine if this was like, um, like a help center, you know, like for like they're building in the community here. They're going to be building like I think three large buildings for mental health. This would be perfect. Like look, it's huge, you know. So let's close them down and open up some kind of thing that the community can actually uh, benefit from, you know. Um, not this garbage. But I want to come here in the day, too, to see if they are recruiting with, like, the recruiters, you know. I want to come down here because I want to see what's down here. I know. It's like, sorry, I'm trying to read at the same time. Oh, thank you, Josh. Man, I need glasses. I'm having a hard time seeing. And this is, I don't want to miss too much because I want to go back there, too. Um, because that's where the people are coming and going, but I just want to see what. Oh, no, this is kind of closed up. I don't think this is anything, but it's kind of weird that it's closed up like that. But you know what? I think this is their actual, like, you know, where you have the service with all the, the big, you know, the seating and the, and it looks just like a church. They make it look like a church. When I, from what I remember, the one time I was in there, this is probably about five years ago, um, it was, you know, it looked just like a church, like you wouldn't know, you know, like, and, you know, they call it the Church of Scientology. It has a big cross. I'll show you the cross again. So I think it's, like, really easy to manipulate and trick people into thinking, you know, that maybe it's, like, close to being Christian or whatever, you know, but um, I just find it weird how they kind of try to make it seem like that. And, and to me, that just shows you how shady they are. Let me see what's going on. Let me see. There's the. Can't really see the cross. I'm gonna try to. Oh, there's someone else in there. Yeah, you know, imagine if we get both places. Like that's what we should do. Bombard them all at once, and freak them out. You know. I just haven't told anyone. I, I, I didn't tell anyone I was coming here. So, like, I, it was so last minute random. I had a meeting and, it, you know, then I didn't, I thought I wouldn't be able to go anywhere because I thought I'd be out by 10. So, I didn't get a chance to tell anyone this is where I am. But I need to get other people with me here. They try to use it to lure people. Yeah, they try. That's what I think, too. They try to make it seem like that. So, you think, oh, okay, it's just, you know, maybe a. Christian science, like, it's science with the biblical, I don't know what they, you know, they're trying to, but I, who knows what people think. I need to start asking people what do they think it is. That would be a really good interview. So it's like, what do you think Scientology is to people who have no idea? But look at that. Like, that's huge. You know what I mean? And it, it is a cross. I know it's an eight-point cross, but it is a cross. Oh, thank you, Josh. This is in North Hollywood. Um, I'm at the North Hollywood. It's called, I think, the Valley Center. Um... It's Scientology. See, here they light it up. I know down in Hollywood, they kind of keep it on the low key. But here, they don't for some reason. See, okay, Yandam. Oh, and thank you for gifting, Yandam. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, you know, I, I think that's what they do. It's right. And uh, yeah, it is false advertising saying all are welcome. It's such nonsense. That's what I'm saying. She's like, oh, you're welcome. Go in there. And you, there's, you know, this and that. I'm like, yeah, right. They would have the police here so fast because they would, they would, 
they would know me from the protest. They, they would have to. I mean, even though the lady who was... I don't even know if she's still running it when that when they had that um the emergency preparedness things. I have no idea. I'm out of touch with all what's kind of what's going on with those things. I don't I'm not involved with the emergency preparedness anymore because of that. Because they LAPD refused to listen to the public that didn't want it at the Scientology building. And that was like 5 years ago maybe. And even then people were like upset about it. So it's only growing. Um, they have substance. Yeah, they do have. Yeah, you know, I heard about their drug um, rehabs and stuff. Um, I wouldn't want to send anyone to it because, you know what, from what I hear, they like they're not like their lawyer. You know, the lawyers that defend them in court, whatever, are real lawyers. But I think when people actually need like legal advice or medical attention, um, they're not real medical people and they're not real legal people. That's from what I understand. Um, yeah, we don't want it anymore. Exactly. And like I said, uh, five years ago, whatever, when they had this event, people were upset. And there's a lot of people that wouldn't come. And it just left a bad taste in everyone's mouth that they, that LAPD would not listen to the people. That they're like, well, this event, this place is free. And I, like we were saying, we'll help you find, we, uh, we can find another free place. You know, like there's other... Uh, churches or, you know, they had, used to have meetings at some other church. There's other, um, hi. I think he's just a Uber, you know, um, I mean, not Uber, DoorDash, but, um, you know what I mean? So the, it left a really bad taste. So I, I left everything. I like, and it's a shame because we need emergency preparedness and stuff. And, but I am, I, I don't want to be in bed or anything to do with Scientology like they should have nothing I don't care how beautiful this place is like stay away you know like but that's LAPD and I, you know I guess you know I guess from their point of view they're saying well why would we pass up this gorge and it is it, oh my gosh the, the building inside like they put so much money into it and I heard oh shoot I'll catch a winner going out <laughs> sorry I'm sitting there gabbing gabbing I miss people we are at North Hollywood, um, the Valley uh, branch of Scientology. And if you look on the website for them here, it looks like they have some kind of, I don't know if it's their services, classes. I'm not sure. Cause I, um, wait, oh. Yeah, I, 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 you know, but I would love to see more, you know, like these people taking the classes. Like, I've got to get more in a ball, I guess, because I'm not, I'm not here alone alone, but... It's kind of weird. But see, these people, it seems like they had appointments or something. And so I think it's part of their... What are they doing? Oh, they had to... They're wash. I guess they got to do hand sanitizer. They're signing in. So they must... I'm wondering if once they recruit you in and you, you start taking classes, if that's what's going on here. Yeah, they're signing in. Dang, I gotta get. Hopefully, I'll get more people. Sorry, I, 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 I gabbing so much. I'm, I'm. They're not gonna talk to me, probably. Well, that lady was like, "Oh, you can go in," but I want people to tell me why are they here and what are they doing here. I want to know what they're doing here. You know, Austin. Oh, uh, you're. Did you you went clear, bud? <laughs> I'm sorry. I feel bad for everyone that went clear. Like to me, it seems like it, when you go clear, it makes to me my opinion just. Uh, is there what's going on here tonight? Do they have? Is this a church service or classes? Are you in Scientology? Is this where they do the coursework? Okay, that makes sense. This is the North Hollywood. Um, it's called the Valley. Yeah, uh, I think it's Scientology of the Valley. There's a... Let me see if... The Valley. Because Hollywood's not in the Valley. This is, in the, this is North Hollywood, the Valley. Okay, she's back there with her dog, but they don't want to be on camera. She's covering herself up. Interesting. They don't want to be on camera. 
I don't blame him. If I was a Scientologist, I wouldn't want to be on camera either. I don't want to be on camera. I don't like being on camera, so I get it. I, I, it's hard for me to do this. I'm doing it because I truly believe in this cause. Because I, I'm like a behind-the-camera type person. Oh, look, there's somebody who's... Oh, my gosh. Is that the... She kind of looks like the director that was there. But I don't think it's her. They locked them in the room until the float... Are you serious? They lock them in the room? Uh, they mask up. Yeah, I don't blame them. I, 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 I wouldn't want to be known either because... North Hollywood is a little bit of a smaller community than, like, Hollywood is. You know, like... Well, sorry, I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm like... You know, so... People often know each other. You bump into each other more where... Hollywood... Oh, hi, Kater from Scotland. Oh, that's awesome. I'm Scottish, so I love it. Um, from what... I, I don't know what happened to Sebastian. I, I heard that somebody saw him at MacArthur Park. And I think some people are going to go check that out. Do they do classes here or a church service? Hello? I like your dog. Cute. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm an SP for sure. What happened to... Well, I think he's... Um, I don't know what's in MacArthur Park. I did not know them to have a location in MacArthur Park, so which is weird. But somebody says... I don't know if it's rumor or what. I got to find out more. Uh, I'm at the building, no, not the blue building. I'm at the North Hollywood one. I'm going to try to see what people say or do. I mean, now they definitely know me because, like, I'm sure I'm, on, I'm sure this is a newer building. They have a lot of cameras. But I want to know what's going on here, and I want them to shut down. Like, prior to them being here, about, they moved in maybe six, seven years ago. It was just an abandoned old church, and... You know, attracted, you know, the unhoused people were, like, sleeping on, around the thing. So, at first, the community was like, oh, great. This is going to be, you know, it, it's opening, you know, bring life and all that. They're going to help the community. They came and said, oh, we're going to do this, this, and this, which they never did. You know, I, could, I, I just came by because they said they were going to do, like, the, the monument over there at the corner. And they are going to fix it up and keep care of that corner and make it beautiful and... It is really in bad shape. So, you know, a lot of promises. But that's what they do, you know? Oh, yeah. I guess I think Sebastian's in trouble because he was, like, to the point of giving um, autographs. Like, it really went to his head. So he was no longer... This is just my guess. That they were... He was no longer seeing us as SPs or squirrels or whatever. He was starting to enjoy the intention too much. At, I think that was an ethics violation or whatever for him and I, that's what i think i mean i could be wrong yeah i want to go to the blue building too and there's a few other buildings like i want to check them all out people are saying they're recruiting at sunset boulevard we gotta check it out oh here who's this i see someone else uh they're going to get nervous because they're saying the protesters are going to come here. And I'm hoping that we can. Yeah, I bet, true. Yeah, I saw that with Rolling Stone. Yeah, he's getting too famous. It's drawing too much attention. So, in a way, at first, we're all, like, they were all getting stuff. Oh, we can't make these people into celebrities. But, you know, maybe that was the best thing that happened because it's getting national attention now. So, um, not good for them because it's not positive. Anthony, for Anthony, I don't know. Oh, I know Anthony's got to be in a boatload of trouble. Um, I don't know what they do with them. I, you know, I, I should ask Laura or any of them. If anyone's down there, if Laura's down there, that'd be a good question for her. Yeah, I mean, CC definitely the article was stupid. But, um, but I don't know. You know what I mean? But it's just more, now people know, even if it's a dumb article, they're like, oh, there's protests going on on TikTok, on you know what I mean? It just may bring more eyeballs to the situation. Oh, he was? Anthony was at the Blue Building last night? How Lo oh, locked in chains. You guys are funny. Anthony gave an interview um, to Snazzy Yodo and basically admitted some stuff, which was, I'm amazed that he would do that, but um, like you know there's a million uh, you know, microphones. Like you have to be careful. Yeah, Anthony is goofy, yes. 
Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, and they and I noticed like a lot of times like people they're talking, and then they come out and like kind of guide them. You know, they're so controlling, control freaks. So I'm interested to see if more people come and go. I know they're open at ten. I don't know if I'm going to be able to stay that long. It's like so cold out here, but um, we need to protest a new building. So we, we think, <laughs> you know what? That's a good idea. I don't think we gave up or just think that we're growing like a cancer. You know because and i'm tired of, like they're fair gaming it's like okay well now we're fair gaming you know we're gonna make it it's gonna be more than just hollywood and also guys um street it, it, shannon needs to be held accountable for calling in a false bomb threat if it was her i, I mean i don't want to accuse her but whoever did it so i agree with streets he put out the chief's um email address and, a, and a, i think a couple of other um you know top lapd people and I think it's a great idea if everyone, like, I'm going to be doing it. Um, I think everyone should be doing it and demanding that they are not, just because they're Scientology, they're not, ex they may be tax exempt, but they're not exempt from accountability by calling in a false bomb threat. Because you know how dangerous, A, it's dangerous because they're taking away needed resources from the community. Like, down there in Hollywood, believe me, these cops are, they're called constantly. It's, it's not a good area down there. So they're taking resources. I heard SWAT came. I heard bomb detection dogs came. So you're taking how much do the city have to pay? How many how much do the taxpayers have to pay? And they're tax exempt. Like they should A, get a bill for that and B, whoever called in should be held accountable. So everyone, please, um, you know, follow. And uh, if you can just email them, I mean, be polite, you know, like we don't want them like thinking we're jerks. So here's all APD. They're just right down. Their, their station's literally, I think, like a, mm, a block and a half down the street. So they're going to be coming and going. But um, I'm curious to see if they call them on me. They, they may, you know. But I have a right to be here. If they say I'm... Look, oh, they, okay, they're talking to somebody. But let me zoom in. I wonder what's going on with that. Now, these guys, they're already known... Um, yeah, yeah, that, it's ridiculous that they keep calling in the police resources. So we need to call the higher ups and make it stop. You know, tell them to please hold them accountable when they're not. But they're calling in something legit and it's a real outcome fine. But they're calling in fake stuff. They need to. They need to pay for that. I don't. I haven't seen any recruiting here, but I don't know. Maybe they do that during the day. I gotta come and check out the day. But to me, what it looks like to me is these are the people who e were either recruited and they're coming here and taking their coursework um or they have a church she said there's like a church they do they have a huge like what do they call it <laughs> it's like i can't think of the name you know it's burbank and lancashire burbank and lancashire yeah, i'll probably will go to sunset I, I you know right now like i said i'm having some chair difficulties i need to get a certain i need to get a repair done i'm having electrical issues so i don't want to go around too like I've, i'm kind of familiar with this territory oh. i was like okay good they they didn't stop here i was waiting for to see if they're going to turn around okay so it's not for me but this is a very high call center too north hollywood has a very busy call center for um oh thank you so much jessica uh, Jessica's confidence. I love that. Great name. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I think these guys are already in it, to be honest with you. I think these guys already signed up for it because they came in and they seemed to know what they were doing. They were, um, and also, am I lagging? Am I lagging out here? So I'm always lagging, you know, down there. And I was like, do I need a new phone? So that's another reason why I'm here. I'm like, let me see if I can stream here and everything's okay. See, no lag. So there you go. Either. Oh, cool horror. So either. Um... Oh, that's cool. Well, hey, if you want to join protests. Either they are jamming it or maybe it's just so many people down there. It's taking too much of the bandwidth or whatever. Yeah, this is the valley. No, this is the valley in North Hollywood. Yeah, I think it's probably jammers at the other location. Yeah, I'm at North Hollywood tonight. I couldn't get down to um, down there tonight, so I figured I, I'd check this out rather than do nothing. Because sometimes I, you know, um, 
tomorrow night I won't be able to go but I may come down I don't know if I can come down during the day or not a little bit I do want to see what they're doing here during the day um, if there's more people coming and going so I'm gonna check this one out when I can't go down as much as possible oh here we here we go I'm gonna see what see so they're coming and go here someone yeah they're all see signing out they know what they're doing no, not much is going on that I'm glad I, you know, not glad I missed it, but I'm glad I'm here. I wanted to, I've been wanting to check this out. Oh, thank you, horror. Wait, one day, night, Celebrity Center could be a, yeah, oh, no, I already, I want to definitely do this Celebrity Center. I want to do more places, and uh, I, and I want to do, like, the advocacy with the local um, neighborhood council down there in Hollywood and stuff, and, you know, um, oh, thank you, Maria. Thank you. You know, and I, um, so I want to do that, um, and different, yeah, the different places, you know, and because I think it's good to get a bigger view of what's going on. See, like here, like I said, the big cross, the big, it's all lit up. It's very different, very different from Hollywood. Hollywood's kind of like, I don't know, an old hotel where this is, was an old church, but it's a beautiful campus. I would love to see it become... I don't know, maybe a, a, like a normal drug rehab, not like a Scientology one, you know, um, or something like that, or a mental health center, or, I mean, I know they need shelters here. Could, they could have a lot of great uses, even a school. Yeah, I, I agree. It makes me sick, too, that anyone serves them. Yeah, no, they have a lot of buildings here. And they have buildings that I don't know what they do. I want to find out what they do, even though I don't think the public has access to them. I want to try to spy it out. And uh, No, this is not the Sunset one. This is North Hollywood. North Hollywood one. Uh, is there a church service going on tonight? Like, what is this? Like, what do they do here? Is it like a service tonight? Or Oh, so like people sign up for courses if they're interested in it. So they, how do they sign up? Is it just like, is that like when down in Hollywood, they recruit, you know, they, they bring them in and they sign up for it and then they come here for the classes? Yeah. Oh, interesting. Okay, thank you. Oh, he was nice. Okay. All right, there's some info. So they, he was honest about it. Okay, so um, is there a mosque? There is a, there is a, a mosque in North Hollywood, but it's not here. Okay, so that's interesting. I don't know if you heard them. I don't know how bad Twala's, mi Twila, I mean, Twila's missing. Okay, so this is what's going on with this one. Um, he said that it's not a church service right now, but he looks like a professional. That dude's a professional. So I, I should have asked him if he's a, um, a member or a teacher or something. Um, so basically you get recruited and I do find out like there is different levels of recruiting. There's like the recruiting that they do in Hollywood Boulevard where they're oh here passing out, you know, come take a, a free personality test and stuff like that. But here, because I know I was invited to the VIP recruiting and I do my friend, actually, uh, if my moderator wants to get on and talk about it, um, you know, they like put out like a nice spread, like they feed you and, you know, as they try to wine and dine you to join. Um, I kept refusing their VIP invite. Uh, no way was I going to do that. Um, and I had to get LAPD to threaten them to, you know, that they were going to kick them off their community police advisory board if they didn't leave me alone. And they did leave me alone. Um, yeah, it's near the train station. It's not far. But anyway, that guy said... This is in North, this is not Hollywood. This is North Hollywood. Um, so the guy said they have the classes here, and I asked them. So if they sign up and like get recruited at the Hollywood uh, Info Center, they take their classes here. And he said yes. So I don't know if they also because I never see people coming and going for classes down in Hollywood. So I guess that's just the information center they call it, and where they recruit. Um, I can. I, I do have a mod, but her, I, I'll. I, I'll. I don't. I don't see him here tonight, so I'm gonna make you a mod. Um, I just. What I. I just. I. I. Hold on. I don't. Um. I try not to block people. I don't like to block people because I'm really big on freedom of expression. So. Um, 
So what I do is like just say like mute them. You know, if they're being a jerk, you know, not only if they're being a jerk, they're okay to have their own opinions. Like I'm, I'm totally cool with that. But if they're being a jerk, um, yeah, just mute them for the whole thing. And if they come back a second time later next time, and they're still not behaving, then I block them. But I try to give people chances. Why is there? There is a mosque in. Um, it's not right here. It's. Uh, I don't know where it is, but yeah, there's a. Um, uh, I don't want to say a very large Muslim population here, but it's pretty large. There, there is a Muslim population here. Um, it's a mix. You know, this is a mixed, a uh, very mixed area. With all, uh, all the different religions, and I and Scientology, I guess, tapped into that. They thought we'd be tolerant and stuff, but um. Oh, sorry. Oh, you know, Har, I didn't even ask you if you wanted to be a mod. <laughs> I don't think... If you don't, just let me know. So let me know, Har. Uh, Har. Um, if you don't want... If you want me to... You know, if you don't want to be mod, that's fine. I'm sorry. I thought you asked if you could be a mod. Okay, great. Thank you. you know, like I said, I try not to um, block anyone because I want people to... Inter I want them to learn is what I'm hoping. But if they're, if they're super, super rude, like, I would give them a warning to knock it off. If they don't, then mute them. And then if they come back, like, the next live and still being a jerk, I'm going to ask. Excuse me. Do you take classes here? No. Do you work here? Okay. Thank you. So she doesn't take classes. She doesn't. Oh, thanks. So hopefully I... She's probably your. Oh, thank you, Shauna. Uh, oh yeah, you, any anyone can feel free to ask anything. I don't get offended with you know, uh, you know if, if I had to explain a million times. Um, that, oh, here's gossip. He's my main one. Okay, go, gossip guy's finally back, and he's my real life friend, and so he's funny. So I just made horror horror girl. Um, I didn't see you here, gossip guy. I made her a mod. But, you know, I explained, like I said it with anyone, like, you know, I try to, I try not to block people right away. I try to give people chances and warnings. That's, that's how I prefer to do it. Although gossip guy may like, uh, overrule me because, you know, I guess he's my, uh, my Scientology ethics person. No, I'm kidding. Um, Ahmad is somebody who makes sure that chat, cause it's, I can't really manage the chat easily. Um, you know, it's so hard for me to even see them all. So forgive me if I miss anything. But the mods, like, if anyone's misbehaving, you know, um, they do that. So I have, like, my main mod is Gossip Guy. So Horror Girl, meet Gossip Guy. He's, like I said, my real life friend who, you know, uh, I know he has my back. And then um, the other two are Ryan and now Horror Girl. So I have three mods. I think I'm good with three. Um, I think, yeah, I, you know, it was just kind of by... Uh, yeah. Uh, well, no, I, I, well, I just told her I don't want to... I, I don't really want to... To block, you know. Like, I, I try to give him a chance, gossip guy. Come on, man. Come on, man. You're too tough. He's tough, but, you know, he... I trust him, like I said. He's my he's my real life bud. Been friends for years. Gossip guy, you know, we both, you know, with that freaking, um... Uh, what do you call it? Um... Emergency preparedness meeting that they had here. They, we, you know, a bunch of people got, you know, they, you know, were trying to recruit all of us, you know, and they, so they used, they were so sneaky, they used the LAPD emails um, addresses and got everyone's address it was so disgusting hi do you work here or are you a member i'm trying to find out what goes on here what is this where, like where they take classes it's a club I'm just trying to find out what's going on. Is it like, do they have classes here or a church service? Oops. Guess he doesn't want to. Is it a church service? 
I'm just trying to get information. We're just curious what's going on here. I don't know what goes on in the Scientology thing. I can only guess. Here, where's Shelly? Uh, I really want to get and also ask him. I, I wonder how many of them know that. Like, I know um, Laura was saying. Was it Laura? No, it was. Um, someone was saying that these people probably don't even realize what human trafficking is. That, you know, bringing all these kids in from different countries and having their parents sign away their legal rights and giving them to the church and the church having them quote unquote volunteer, you know, at 12, working 12, 14 hours a day, um, that that's not human trafficking, but that is human trafficking. So, yeah, I mean, I would love for them to go to the train area. Oh, yeah, you want to see the train area? You mean, yeah, I guess I could go over there. You mean the, the red line, like the, it's not train trains, it's just the, the metro subway and busway. You're like, you don't see any trains unless you go down and, you know, down inside. Um, you gonna, you know what, B, that's a really good question. Um, if they have Epstein, you know, I would like to know. I mean, I think we all need to know. Um, they rec- I heard, you know what, I, I heard that that was going on during the day that um, they have recruiters during the day out here. That's what I'm saying. I want to come out here during the day. And I know SB Spanglish was saying that he, he comes out here. I saw him out here on a live. And I'm like, next time you come out here, I want to go with you. And he said maybe in a few weeks. So I really, I, I want to know what's going on out here. Because I think it's good to find other areas. Yeah, and thank you for pinning that horror. Yeah, so far we've found out this is where they take classes. I think some that lady, the nice, the lady was very sweet. I think she said that they um, do like church service too. Maybe I don't know if it's actually church service. I don't know what it is. We have to find out. We'll get more info. Um, what's going on with Twilla? That's the second mention of Twilla. Uh, they might be moving everyone around. They're probably telling them. Hi. Are you a member? Are they doing classes here? Or is it like a church service? We're trying to find out. Is it like courses you take or like, and and is there like a church service too? Do they do like a church service? Yeah. When is the church services? Sundays. Okay. What, like in the mornings or? Um, I think they're around 11 or 11.30. So. And is it like, um, cause I'm curious, is it like, like traditional Christian, like where they have like singing and a preacher and all that stuff? Is it similar? There's preaching or there's a sermon. There is? Uh, I'll go find out what time it is. I'll be right back. Oh, thank you. That's very sweet. Thank you. Okay. I'm, I'm curious. Yeah, I agree with that. The eyes, yeah. I don't know. It's like going to go in there and be like don't talk to her but you know we need to get somebody at the church service undercover i'm hard to go undercover you all know me on the you know yeah she wouldn't know she says there's a sermon but i'm curious what the sermons are like we definitely got to get somebody in here this place is too interesting i'll hear someone coming all right they're probably saying don't they're probably putting her out the, in the back don't talk to her any recruiters at this location you know what i don't know yet not right now Right now, they're having the classes, and this lady said that they have church service. I'll get more info as we go along, but, um, and she, they don't have sermons. Okay. See, I don't know. Like, I'm not going in there, only because, um, like, yeah, yeah, I agree with you with the eyes. I mean, um, I want to know what's going on with it, but I don't want to be the one going in there because I'm so, you know, like, I'm, I'm, on you like there's no way they would not know who i am like that's why i think they told that lady i'll oh, ignore them they're protesters you know so it seems like the people like from what i see right now i don't know if you guys agree like it seems like they're either seniors like it's a very different um crew you know they're seniors or they seems like professionals like that guy with the briefcase uh, those other two guys very well dressed um, where it seems like Hollywood is trying to get all the tourists, you know what I mean? Or people, you know, coming and going. Very different vibe. So, um, 
No, I'm not by myself. I have a white guy and another friend who's just keeping him company. Um, wait, that guy was coming to the door. Yeah, you know, I'm telling you, they're saying, oh, they're, pro yeah, they're explaining it. So she's going to come out and just ignore me. I was very nice to her, though, or I wasn't mean. I I'm like, I'm not a rude person. I don't, like, I try not to get rude and mean and stuff. I don't think, it's just not who I am. Um, yeah, they, they don't want to be on camera. Yeah, she knew us. she was on camera. She could tell. But see, you know what? These are the people that are, I have, uh, my guess is like that lady is not an entry level She's probably not like OS3 where she knows it's Xenu because I think, I would think, I would think once you find out the whole Xeno story, I think you'd leave, you know? Who knows? if he, That'd be funny if I find Anthony here. That would be hilarious. They might because they think no one's here. But um, back to what I was saying. So I would think at OS3, most people would leave because they'd be like, no, I've been paying all this money and you're telling me, you know, the Xeno crap. But... Um, Oh, OT, I'm sorry, OT. Yeah, see, I'm still learning it. I'm still, I'm new to all this. Um, the S Center was smart to put posters out of camera view. Yeah. They might, so I, I have a feeling the, these people are not that high up, but not like entry level. That's just my guess. Um, interesting. And, uh, Oh, uh, thank you, Har. I appreciate it. And I I'm, I'm hope we get some view. Like, we have oh, almost 200. That's awesome. It's just a different view, you know? Um, it's not as it, it's not as busy as Hollywood. Hollywood has definitely has more excitement. And I plan to be down there on Friday. Um, I, I can't do Thursday. I'm not sure about Saturday yet. I, and, I'm not, and Sunday, likely, I'll be down there. Um, but I figured I might try you now trying to think maybe Thursday I might be able to come down here during the day because I'd like to see if there's recruiting during the day oh if he would join me yeah that'd be great oh thank you Har. yeah for the gifts too thank you so much for all the gifting I appreciate it so much I really do um, for everyone and but if Chris if you can get him down here I would love it you know because he, he's like he's like me like I like how he likes to interview. Um, I'm real. That's what I'm really into. It's like I, I you know, I like. I want to find out. You know, I want to investigate. I want to know things. And oh, it's starting to get wild tonight. It's always getting wild over there, man. Lately, it's, it's crazy. But over here, it's so quiet. But maybe we need to change that and just get people out here too. I think if more people join, you know, we kind of cover all the different campuses they're probably like madly on the phone like oh my gosh they're down here now here they, they're over here they probably called the cops and the cops know better I, i'll tell you that much because there was i don't know if you ever guys ever heard of nasty nathaniel he does a lot of the police accountability stuff but he also is doing a lot of scientology auditing and it was very interesting and there he, he had one of the videos was them being here and them calling the cops and the two cops they sent or two cops I know like I know them personally it was it was so funny and I was like I'm like sharing it to everybody I'm like look but they they knew they 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 did what was right they knew that um they could not interfere with this first amendment right as long as he was off their property and that's why I don't want to I definitely don't want to go up on that ramp. Like, I don't care how much they invite me, unless Scientology themselves invite me in. Like, hey, do you, you want to talk about it? You know, whatever. But even then, I'd be afraid to go in. But, um, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to risk being trespassed because I know I'm here to protest. They don't know. You know, the lady's sweet and innocent probably, and she doesn't know I'm here to protest, but I know, you know, and, they, and the higher-ups know, so I, I'd be getting myself in trouble. Um, here's a guy. I'm like, I wish they would come out and talk to me. That's not... Oh, look, it's more grandpatology. Look, guys. Grandpatology. See, those are the guys that fascinate me. Like, the grandpatology's in it for, like, 45 years and stuff. Like, what do you get from it? I, I, and, and I know they're brainwashed, but they're also handlers. And they know how to handle it. So, they're brainwashed, but they're also... I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. So they kind of intrigued me. 
How come you are? Oh, um, I couldn't go down there tonight. Just a few different uh, reasons. And um, there's supposed to be a really bad wind alert. And so I didn't want to get stuck down there. And if the windstorm happens when I'm down, you know, that's much further. And so I didn't want to go be too far away. Um, but, you know, the wind's not even kicking up. They say it's going to be a big, it's such a bad windstorm that they're opening up emergency shelters for the wind. And so far it's okay. But, but I'm also having some chair issues, like the electrical. So I'm trying to get that fixed. So that's a few reasons. And I've been wanting to come down here. <laughs> So I'm going to come down here do, during the day, too. Is that lady coming back? No, you know what? I, I think they got to her. Um, and I think they said, oh, they're protesting. Um, you know, and they probably... I, I should have been looking. This campus is so huge, though. And I know that I should go around the side. Let me go around the side, because if I remember correctly, like I said, it was... I came here once for the... Um, for the uh, what do you call it? Emergency preparedness event. And if I remember correctly, they have an entrance back here. Let me see. I've got to be careful. Yeah. So, oh, maybe I can show you more stuff over this side. So here's the old-fashioned um, streetlights in North Hollywood. So Gossip Guy, if that should make you feel sentimental. Um... Oh, yeah, 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 here, guys, look at this. Yeah, this, now I remember this. This is the door. They, I'm telling you, they, they brought her out here. This is what they did. They brought her out here. And they told her, that's what they did. And I, but that's what they're going to start doing, bringing people out here. But see, it has this, that building. That's where the church is. And it has this, like, crossover thing. And I remember somebody saying, like, a long time, and I didn't know what Sea Org meant back then, but they were saying, oh, is that the Sea Org area? And so I think it might have something to do with Sea Org with this part. But look, I'll show you the... I don't know if you can really see it. They have a lot of shrubbery now, a lot more than they did back then. I guess it was still, you know, young... When we were going here, it was still a new... You know, I, I want to know what this is. God, we need to investigate this. You know, you TikTok sleuths, I call you. You're the best. And I'm sorry, I'm not reading the chat now because I have my camera sideways. I want to see what we can see. I might, maybe if Chris with the, you know, could come out here too, we could talk to neighbors and stuff and see what they think about this. And look, see, it looks like it could be residences. This looks like it could be something. I have a feeling that might be like Sea Org, maybe dorms for like the higher ups or people that are looking. Here's a opening, like here's a, a driveway. Look at this. I wonder what, uh, it looks like classes could be up there. This place is huge. Inside the gate, it might be more dorms or bunks. That's what I'm thinking. I think it might be. I want to know. We need to investigate. I'm telling you, like, I, you know, we have so many people covering Hollywood. And I want to go back there and cover Hollywood, too. Yeah, I will, Blair. I'm trying. I know. I got, I got my, I, my people with me. But I have a feeling there's a lot of stuff to find out here. Look at the... What, what's this... I see a sign, but I can't see it. Let me try to zero in on it. I can't see what it says. Does that look like a sign? Oh, it's hard to tell. It does look like a chill. Like the campus on the inside is really pretty. They have beautiful gardens and stuff. Um... And here, look, see, like, these are, like, nice. It's not like Hollywood. It's very different from Hollywood. But let me see. Like, I want to go down the neighborhood a little bit. Like, I'm curious. Like, these people. Chris, without a Hellcat, man, come down here with me. <laughs> come down here. Cause, okay, like, this is, I guess, where the property ends. And then th there's this place. And this looks like a nice, you know, like, these are nice apartment buildings here. I've never been down like this far. I've never been down here. But I'm curious. I'd love to talk to the neighbors during the day or like say when people are coming home from work, to and from work, and ask them what it's like to live next to Scientology and or do they make good neighbors and, you know, have they recruited them? Oh, my gosh. Okay, here. This is for anyone. This is something you don't see often anymore in L.A. Vacancy, so. 
anyone, you know, I'm going to actually take a, I don't know if I could take a screenshot of it, but I know there's people looking for housing, so uh, one and two bedroom apartments. Hmm. Laundry in unit. Shoot, I'd like that, but I wouldn't want to live next door to freaking Scientology. No way, man. But these are nice. Look, they have like balconies. These, these are pretty nice. And that one looks nice too. Oh, I see a cat. I want to see if I see anyone on the street to see if they, uh, you know, if any neighbors would talk, if any neighbors are out. It's probably a little too late. It's really cold out here tonight, too. Look, even the cat's running. <laughs> the cat's running. The cat's... Come here, kitty. Psh, psh. I'm sorry you had to live so close to Scientology. <laughs> He's out of here. Um, yeah. Well, this is recording because it, it does record. Like, it saves it for 30 days. But, um, yeah, see, this is... Yeah, I don't go down here, but this is, I think this is untapped gold, like for finding out like to the next, you know, what else is going on here. I want to know what's going on in this campus. Like, is it just classes? I, I like to know more, so. No, I'm not by myself. No, I mean, I'm the only one doing this because they're like uh, bike guys, friends here. So they're just chatty and it would just, I don't want to use up all the, you know, the microphone with, you know. They just want to chit chat. His friend just came down a few days ago. So, um, but this place, wow, look at this place. It looks kind of nice. But I need to know how these people feel about living next to Scientology. I'd freaking hate it. Like, I would ha literally hate it. Um, I want to see what's. Yeah, here's a... You can kind of see. I don't want to get... Let's see. Like, could that be, like, housing? Like... I want to know. We need, we need some undercover people. <laughs> that, like, you know, if they kick them out and, you know... And if they get kicked out and whatever, they, you know, they're not going to... It's not going to matter to them I don't know what that is yeah I, well I want to do more interviews with people in general because that's what I love to do if you look on my um, you know what I post I try to post interviews um, sadly it's so glitchy down there that a lot of it by the time I'm you know going to edit it's like oh my gosh it's just like garbage it's like not, it's just all glitch but it's amazing so it has not been glitching here huh that's pretty crazy so that's good. So I'm thinking I needed a new phone. And I'm like, what is going on? But no, it's not the phone. Because obviously I haven't had one complaint. Yeah, Chris has been doing great interviews. I told him that. I've been telling him, like, dude, you've been, you've been doing it. You know, I have a few interviews. Like I, I Laura and I did, um, Laura, I did, um, I can't think of his name right now. Um, Sergio, I mean Serge, Ser uh, literally Serge. I did um, uh, the guy, um, the guy who has that website. So there's a few, like there's a few on my thing that they they're pretty informative, that, you know. But I want to do that, and I want to do some just like people on the street. Like I need to get into this neighborhood and come down here more often too, like during the day, and just give a different point of view and a different perspective, and still go to Hollywood. Like uh, you know, I want to go and keep that up because that's like really fascinating but there's so many lives down there going on that you know it's kind of good like i've been craving kind of more content from different locations so i really enjoy it when they go to the blue building and i think we should do sunset i think we should do i, I don't know i think there's one in santa Monica. i don't know we have to look on the website to see where else they do it but they up say they have that beacon right here every time we go by it yeah i think it's good to branch out too i think it's um you know, it's just, there's that, so it's, that's the address on Burbank Boulevard. Um, I mean, so far I find everyone's been friendly. I don't have any complaints except for them, like, telling that lady, oh, don't talk to them, go out the back. So, I don't know, so I stand out here, or now that they know I'm here, so I go around and wait for them to let people go out the back. I have a feeling, I wonder if I, maybe I should go, I think I'm going to go in the back. 
we need people at all their creating sites. I agree. And um, I got to come out here during the day to see if it's if they're doing that, if they're um, recruiting out here. Excuse me. This is boring. And so. Oh, poor, my guy wants the, he likes the, the interest of like waiting to see if the cops come, but oh well, not tonight. See, I'm the investigative one. I want to know what's going on. He's the like, I just want to see the cops come by and all the craziness. So I like that too, but tonight it's, it, it's, it was either this or nothing. So like, um, but I've been wanting to do this. So I'm finally getting what I've been wanting to do. And I want to do it more often. Are they down there? Yeah, I haven't been um, on because I've been on here. So I had to check what's going on over there. But I have a feeling... You know what? I'm going to tell him to cover that door. And then... Hold on, and I'll come back to this door. Because there's the parking lot is full. So I know there's a lot of people in here. Hold on. I'm going to tell him to cover that door. And I'll cover this door. And hopefully we'll get white guy cover that door let me know and let me know if anyone's coming out and i'm going to cover this gate because i think they're sending them out the back because they told them that we're here and they sent that lady out this way okay hello you watch that door for me let me know if anyone comes out no can, can you just do that for me Yeah, but can you do that? Tell me if anyone comes out. Because I want to see when this close, you know, people are going to come out. I'm letting him hang with his bud. Oh, that was Mike and his friend. That was his friend. He's He just can't move back down there. Oh. Excuse me. Are you a neighbor of Scientology? Or are you Scientology? No. Oh, because I'm just trying to find out, like, how the community feels about having Scientology here. I don't live here. Oh, you don't? Okay, thank you. All right, we need to get... Oh, thanks, James. Yeah, I do, too. He, he just, you know, like, he's going to look at that door, and then, uh... He's warmer, though. The jacket he wears is quite warm, but I have a feeling they're going to let people out here. So if he's covering that door, I'm covering this door. Chris, without a Hellcat, I know you're not hearing me because you're doing your own live, but <laughs> that would be cool. If any of them, if anyone comes out here. That's okay. Bike guy, bicycle, it doesn't matter. It's all good. Yeah, he's always wearing his Chicago. Yeah, he, he collects all that. How late this time? It says it's open till 10 when I looked on the... Um, the website. So I know, you know, um, I know this one's, it's not going to be as interesting. So I stay on, I don't know, but I'm like having him cover that. Like there's a lot of, I know there's people in here because I mean, the street's probably for residents, but that's the Scientology parking. And look, it's, it's, I don't know if you can see, it's kind of got like, it's got like, quite a few cars. It's pretty full. And then they, I know they have a parking, like, I've been by here when they have, like, a lot of people. I think it is Sundays that it's really busy, and they have parking issues. Um, they have, par like, the police are out here, I guess, working overtime, helping them, which kind of disgusts me that they're making money off this crap. But, uh, that's someone who's here. Yeah, that's what I'm hoping for. So, I don't know. As long as there's an interest and people are watching, um... But I don't know, man. If it's at t I don't know if I could do, like, two more hours. I know he's got an appointment early, and I, I wasn't expecting to be out late. So I don't know. But I'm going to give it some time and see if anyone comes out here. Because I know that lady was sent out this way. I forgot about this side view. Like I said, I've only been here once. No, I think it was twice. I think they had, like, a prep thing. And um, and then the actual event for emergency preparedness for the community. and. LAPD, um, they did not want to hear our protest that we didn't want it here. A lot of people wouldn't come because of it. And they're like, oh, well, you know, and I think that's a shame, you know. But I know I wish I could go in there. But if you see, well, no, I can't even go in there. But 
yeah, it's it's big. I you know, I don't know what all this is with the. I have a feeling this part is Sea Org somehow. I want to know. I'm going to try to ask if there's any Sea Org members here. Like, is there anything Sea Org related here? I don't want to just. I know this is probably boring, huh? What's going? Is anyone can uh, fill me in? What's going on in Hollywood? And if you are, and if you are on there, like let 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 them know I'm up here. Like, uh, you know, I missed some tonight. I just can't. I, there's no way I'm going down there tonight. Oh man, there's a guy up there. I could ask him. I want to know what the neighbor. I want. That's the questions I need to know. What's going on in this campus? And what do the neighbors think about it? You know, I. I there's some info to be. There's some. Uh, Info to be had here. I wish I didn't forget my gloves. Watch out. Oh, someone's pulling in. I'm going to see if hopefully they'll talk to us. Um, okay, between Sea Org, Sea Org is like their clergy, they compare it to like the Navy, and those are like the people that are, I guess their highest, like they're the most controlled, they're the ones that work 110 hours a week for $47, you know, and they have certain jobs where, but regular Scientology is people who, they pay to have these classes and pay for their advancement, and I guess they come to if whatever the services or whatever, so... You know, I guess it's like different. Like if you're if you're going to compare it to a church, the church members are this the regular Scientology people, and then um, the Sea Org would be the clergy. You know, everyone that's on staff of that church. And I know they have other staff too that's not Sea Org, but um, I'm not sure exactly what the difference is. Right. What are you in Scientology? Are you? Is there classes going on tonight or like a service? You don't know? What level are you? What level are you? Yeah, do they tell you not to talk to people? I'm just curious. Yeah, they're, I think they're kind of... Yeah. I don't know. I guess I could go here and I could kind of go between. I remember seeing a white van like that in Hollywood. right? And he was like really nasty to all of us. The, oh, the one? No, that, he's like a friend. I know. They say you look creepy. They say he looks creepy. He's, he looks creepy, but he's all right. He's, I mean, he's, oh, thank you, James. Thank you, James. Yeah, he's, he's, that's bike guys. Like, friend from childhood. Not childhood, I guess young, you know, a long time. So I'm kind of stuck by default. He's a friend by default. <laughs> nah, he's all right. But, um. It's more, it's more security, like I got security for me. I'm, I'm glad I'm here with two guys instead of just one, so. Because it is kind of dark. You see how dark it is? Yeah, he would. We should send him in to be recruited. I guess not now because they've seen him here with us. I should have him come another time because he's not part of the protest, so I should send them. That's what I'm going to ask him to do. I'm going to ask him to come without us being here, you know? But another, maybe in a week or two when, like, they forget. No, this is North Hollywood location. And I'm trying to go between the two. If anyone comes... So people are still coming. They're not just going. They're still coming, which is interesting. And their parking lot is full. So, no, this is not the blue building. This is North Hollywood. Yeah, but I want to kind of keep it where, you know, I'm not like... Oh, here's some more people. Yeah, I want them to come and... But you know what? I'd be worried that like, they would actually sign them up. They might actually sign them up. Poor guy. 
Oh, Chris, he's, he's at the blue building. My, is, are you Scientologist? I'm just trying to find out like what happens in this building. Is it like classes? They have classes, seminars, and so on. Huh? They have seminars and classes? I don't want to go because I'm not a part of it. So I just wanted to try to find out what's going on here as opposed to other places. Everybody. It's open to everybody. Okay. Yeah. Do you like it? Very much so. It works very well. What do you, how, have you been in there long? Have you been going long? Five years? Oh, wow. 25? 35. 35. Oh, wow. Thank you. Bye. -bye. Bye. Wow. 35 years. And you know what? They probably like it because, well, they're paying a lot of money. I, I mean, I hear people lose their houses because, you know, you have to pay so much and, like, one spouse would be so into it. And, they like, they don't pay the mortgage or whatever. They pay for these classes. And so, you know, I think there's, you know, you have to really both be on board. Yeah, they're always in a rut. It's true. Can't be late to the classes. That might be points. But see, these people, if you, you, you see them, you talk to them, it's a very different vibe. These people have money. Like, none of them looked, you know, like none of them look poor. And they all have, like, this attache case, which is interesting. So I wonder what classes are here. I should ask someone what class they talk. But who watched the documentary and had nightmares? Yeah, I, I, I can see that happening. No, I don't want to go in only because like I like if I was here just as a uh, like seriously and just an interested party and like I want to know what's going on is one thing. But uh, my intention here, I'm a protester, you know, I know I'm a protester and I feel like I would be deceptive and I, like, I, I am curious as what's going on, but I don't want to pretend like I'm just some person off the street. And I'm sure they know anyway, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm sure they've gotten the memo, I'm sure they've, they've done all the pictures and they know everyone, so they know. I, I, and I don't need them calling the police and trespassing me, like I don't want, I don't want those kind of issues. Uh, but I would, I would definitely send somebody. But I, I, I want to try to be... And I couldn't even sneak in, like, be, like, under disguise. Like, I can't... I, I, it'd be hard to disguise me or bike. I don't think either of us would, would be known right away. Sorry, I'm just kind of going around because I'm trying to look, monitor between the parking lot, the back gate, the front door. And neighbors, any neighbors. I definitely want to come here during the day, without a doubt. Um, they're back at Hollywood. Yeah, I can't go down there tonight. I plan on going. Uh, I have somewhere at the beat tomorrow night, so I, I don't think I'll be able to go tomorrow night. Um, because I probably won't be done till like nine thirty, and it would take too long to get down there. But um. I definitely plan on being down there Friday. Yeah, it says anyone's welcome, but we know they're liars. I just went. Oh, tell her I miss her. I know I miss them all. Tell them I'm just trying to get the scoop from North Hollywood. And I have to get on when I'm done. I'm probably going to call it quits relatively soon because I know there, you know, there's no, nothing major going on and it's getting freezing. And But I'm going to see if I can talk to. Three more people. We'll, we'll make it three more people. Oh, here's some. Maybe this is neighbors. I wonder if this is neighbors. I see someone walking up the street. I'm going to see if I can. Oh, someone's walking their dog. Let's see if. Tell Jess I say hi. Tell everyone there if you can. I say hi. Um, I hope it's not too eventful out there, like crazy eventful. Oh, thank you, horror. Hi. Can I ask you, are you a neighbor of Scientology? Like, cause I'm trying to find out how the community feels about the Scientology. Like, do they make good neighbors or? I'm not gonna, uh, be on camera. Okay. You, I could not uh, film you. Do you want me? Okay. I'm just curious. Like, I really want to know. Do, um, and I promise uh, you're not on. Like, I I'll point it to you so you can see that you're not on. I'm putting down there. Why do you ask? Um, well, because we're, there's been like some protests going on in the Hollywood one with their practices and stuff. And I, I know that this one's here 
And I'm wondering if is it different? Like, like how does the neighborhood feel about them being here? Is there, do they make a good neighbor or? I understand. No, I get it. I just, I'm like, I'm just trying to like see if the community's happy or not. I, I know you don't speak for the whole community, but. I mean, I don't speak to really anybody about that, um, to be honest with you. I personally don't. Like, it is, you're like, a, it is what it is kind of thing. Like, they're here, but I they're. Yeah, but I don't. You don't like or hate them, or is this. I mean, it's just, I don't hate anything. Not, anybody, but not the people, but. It's, it's right, I guess. Right. All right, that's fair. Thank you, and your dog's adorable. I love the sweater. Thank you. <laughs> okay, I no, I understand pl- completely because I don't like being on camera either. Yeah. But I am just curious to get the pulse of the people, like in the community, and what they I feel mean, about it. Honest, I mean, I mean, there's things that are uh, said, not nice things. Said by them, or no, no, no. or about them? Yeah. Okay, I get it. Thank you. Yeah. See, I get it because I, you know. I probably would be afraid to be interviewed too. And so, um, so she's saying that they say things that aren't nice about them. She doesn't really seem to like or hate them. She just didn't want to be on camera. And, um, you know, but she didn't seem really enthused, you know. Um, after I'm done, I'm going to interview three more people. Okay. They're freezing. But, like, we can bear it. We can, we can suffer through a little bit, right? Um, yeah, it, 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 um, it saves automatically for 30 days, thankfully. And so I definitely want to, um, edit it out for, I think it'd be an interesting point. You know, I'll do, like, a nice long video. Oh, puppies. I know. I get so, I love the dogs. He's walking over there. If he walks over here, I'll definitely ask him. Um, I'd like the community's input. I really would. But at the same time, I, I get how it's like weird just have somebody coming up and asking you. You know? But seems like he wants to be, you know, he's kind of... The puppies are everything. I love the dogs. I get so sidetracked. It's like even uh, Joey's dog, man. I, I love the dog. I can't stay mad at Joey with his dog. Uh, but Joseph, he's like, asked me to beg me to please call him Joseph. So, hey, Joseph, you and the dog. I like the dog. Joseph, I'm not a big fan of, but the dog. Joseph's a character, though. I don't know. I kind of like a. I kind of like the quirky characters. I, I think I'm a quirky character. Puppies are everything. Uh, so it's just, I think she's talking about like what I'm here for. Good, let them get stirred up. Like I would love the the neighborhood. That's a nice big dog. That's a beautiful dog. But I told her I wouldn't film her, so I'm gonna try that. Um. So I don't know. I'm gonna see if any more people come out. But if you notice, it's like so different. I'm gonna stay here and hope the guy. Like, I wonder how many of their neighbors. Like, I wonder what they do for the neighbors. Like, to, because I think most people would be against this. I think LA is sick of it. I have a feeling a lot of these neighbors don't like it. Um, but I don't want to assume anything, you know. It's amazing. Oh, and my phone has not been glitching, which is great. So now I know they're jamming us down there or something. Maybe this would be one more person then. So I said, what, three more people. I'm going to interview three more people and then I'll I'll head out. Yeah, you know, that's true. They may be uh, afraid hard to, um, to talk to people, you know. And then if they don't know where, they don't know who I am gonna be posting you know what I mean um like unless you're part of the calls to end it like I don't like being on camera I hate it like but I I believe in this call so much like I'm so determined that I'm like okay I gotta suck up my you know my my like not like it I like to be behind the camera I like to film things I like to 
make like little videos and shorts and comedy stuff like if you you know if you see my other channel I that's all I do is like make these like goofy little skits but um but this is so important so that's you know like I don't put myself on camera too much but I know down there I'm going to be on camera so it, it is what it is so these people if we're going to try to save their community from this I, I, I want to talk to them Hi, can you tell me what goes on here? Like, is it, are you taking a class tonight? I'm sorry? Are you taking a class tonight? Like, I, I see a lot of people going in here. Are they taking classes or is it like a service? No, no, I'm not. You're not? Okay. Do you work here? So she's not taking any classes. She's not going to a service. Yep, she went in. They don't talk. Y'all know that. Yeah, but them not talking says a lot, right? Like for me, why are they so secretive? She went in. She was lying. You know, I don't know. Did anyone notice? It's not to be hating on the the women, but no, that one lady. I can't say that. I, I, no, I'd be misspeaking. But it seems like the guys are more open to talking. It could be a security thing. But that one lady was so sweet. But then they. The two ladies, actually, so I shouldn't say that, but the, the last two ladies are like, or three ladies were like, kind of like, uh, they did not want to talk, but I'm not making it about, you know, ladies versus men. It's just an observation. But the guys, the, you know, that the guys uh, coming in with the briefcase, so I wonder if they're teachers or if they're students or I, I should ask where they are. See, I'm learning all this stuff, but... Um, I want to know where they are in their training. He's coming in hot and heavy. Probably want to get past this building quick. <laughs> before anything. Yeah, they're coming in hot and heavy here. They're coming in fast. Jeez. I just want to get a couple more people. See if anyone else would talk. Yeah, you know what? That's it. You know what, Gossip Guy? You're probably right. They're probably out there. Oh, that's coming out here now. And they're probably warning. Because I talked to the one lady. She's like, oh, and it, you could come in. Let me find out when the service is. And then, then, then they, they had to have rushed her out the back. I forgot about this back gate. And then I'm like, where's this lady? They're keeping her, holding her up all this time. So, yeah, it's getting around. Yeah, they do seem older. They do seem older and um, I don't want to say distinguished, but like like well dressed. You know what I mean? Like they they don't seem poor. Um, so these might be the higher end classes where you're paying a lot of money to take them. Um, wait, a drama is about to happen. A Scientology check Jessica's live. Okay, so when when i get off i'll be checking it so if everyone if it's if everyone wants to get off here and we go to jessica's we can do that because i don't know if anything much going on here so is that what we want to do guys or do you want me to try to find a few more people um just let me know I don't know. I'm still waiting because there's people. They're open at ten here. I know I can't stay that late because they gotta go. He's gotta get up real early tomorrow. Um, he's ready to go anyway right now. Okay. Thank you, horror girl, and thank you for modding. I appreciate it so much. Thank you. You you've been great. I appreciate that. Gossip guy, I made her mod. It's like, you know, she's talking about mods. I just, I just made her a mod. I didn't even ask her if she wanted to be a mod. So thankfully, she she said yes. Um, it's fine. You know what? We're talking about the signs. Hold on. Check this sign out. This is their parking structure. But look how faded it is. It's like you can't even read it. It's, it has their their thing. And it just says science. You can barely see it. I don't know what that's about. It's not, I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> camera, camera work. Greg, um, you know what? If you think this is no life, then that's fine. You know, I, 
you know, I'm okay with that. It's, it's fascinating to me. I enjoy it, and I want to get rid of Scientology. I feel it's for cause, especially for the human trafficking of children. Um, I'm in it. You know, I'm in it for that. That's the main thing. So if it's no life trying to help children from being trafficked, then okay. I'll gladly own it. Of course he is. Of course Greg is a, a Scientologist. Um because I don't think most people get in here and like sit here and defend most people don't defend Scientology when they get like really adamant about it you know they are who's Joshua okay Greg well if you don't want to help with children being trafficked then maybe you're the one that needs a life I mean I'm not trying to be mean but seriously if you can't get out you know if you, you can't listen to literally um surge and hear the pain in his voice and his plea to please help you know save these kids from Scientology and not want to help if you can do all that and not want to you know help in any way then I think maybe you might be the one that needs a life I want to help I, I, I a lot of people do everyone here is interested in what's going on this is the one person so if you're not a Scientologist then I'm gonna say are you okay with human trafficking? I mean, you know, maybe you are. There are plenty of people that are. You know? Is that the same lady? Alright, here's more people coming in. Yeah, people are even... No, even the people are um, avoiding talking. You know, like, it seems like they were on the other side. But, oh, here's somebody... What they come in quick? I have my friend who, um, you know, she does like the Uber Eats or whatever. She was doing it, and she said whenever one time she got a call to the blue building, she was so creeped out. She's like, I couldn't do it. <laughs> you know, I don't know. I don't get creeped out. I don't get scared. You know, like with this stuff. I feel like I take God with me. You know. Okay, Greg, you live in Clearwater, Florida, then either you're a Scientologist or everyone you know is a Scientologist. It's one or the other. Um, that explains a lot. So, yeah. You can stay if you're nice. I, you know, I don't mind people who, um, you know, think differently, but rude and insults, I, I'm, you know, no, we're not going to tolerate that. So if you just have a point of view that you want to give that's respectful then you're welcome to stay. Otherwise, I'm just going to ask you to not stay. Okay, what's going on with streets? Somebody keep me posted. So we are... I don't know if I should end this one. and, and But I want to know what's going on. So we go over there and watch his. Because this one does not seem like it has a lot going on right now. Shoot. Are you guys neighbors of the Scientology or are you in Scientology? Do you like it? Is it? Okay, thank you. Nothing going on? Oh, okay. Let me know if anything goes on. Oh man, let's see. They got that in their cars. These people have the... See what kind of car? No, they, they just waved, but they didn't want to talk. I'm sure they're being... Let me know if anything's going on. Otherwise, I'm gonna try. I wanna because I wanna try to get a couple of these other people when they're leaving. I, you know, I have no idea, Sidewinder. That's why I wanna find out. I've been wanting to come down here for the longest time because um, I don't really come by here often. Um, I, I remember I came once and I could have sworn I saw recruiters, but it was. I didn't really realize what they were doing. Like, I didn't realize the whole system at the time. So it was kind of confusing. I didn't really know. I wasn't really paying attention. Oh, yeah. No, horror. That's great. You know, yeah, mute him. And then, you know, if he comes back another day and he's still abusive, block him. That's how, that's how I prefer to do it. But uh, I, I'll give everyone a chance to learn. Ask nicely. If not, mute. And then if not, then if that's enough to hopefully change your attitude, then... If not, I'm just gonna block you. But I, I like, I kind of welcome like the fact that he lives in Clearwater. I, like, I wish he would just be willing to talk about it. I'd probably bring him on and just like, 
you know, let's talk about it. Like, I would like to hear what it's like from there. And even if you're pro-Scientology, okay, you know, why are you pro-Scientology? You know, like, I'm okay with different views. I'm not, you know, I don't need to, everyone agreeing with me. Just no need to be rude, though. Oh, this one was, what the one here was a Catholic church? I knew it was a church. I didn't know it was a Catholic church. Um, but I knew this, no, I knew that, I don't, I don't, I knew, I knew this was a church. I have a friend that said she used to go here and come to think of it, she is Catholic. So I guess it would make sense that this was a Catholic church. Um, but, and she loved it, but then it was a, like, it was abandoned for years and it was just decrepit. It was horrible. And so, like I said, they came in and it, it seemed like, oh, they're going to save this building. And they, it's gorgeous. So it's like, literally it is, it's beautiful. They did a great job, but it's freaking Scientology. So, and you know, they have, they, they have to be recruiting on the streets. And that's what I got to find out. Like, I don't think there's a lot of foot traffic here per se, but we're not far from the Metro center. You know what I mean? So I have a feeling probably all the buses and train, you know, the buses and trains that come in, they're probably over there every day. That's just my guess, but I am going to see whether or not my theory is right one day when I have it, when during the day, when I can come out here, um, Well, what's going on with Twilla? I keep seeing her name mentioned. Are they doing... I don't know. You know, that's what I want to find out they're doing recruiting out here. Um, I know they're sneaky and they were doing things like I know they're... The director here is on the com, uh, community police advisory board, or at least she was when they were having this event. I have a feeling she still is. And so, um, you know, they would get the emails from the people that had nothing to do with Scientology. They're doing events that LAPD was doing and they would take their email addresses. So it's really sneaky, you know, and I know they're on the Chamber of Commerce out here. Um, I know they get themselves, like they engraved into the, um, everything okay? Uh, so I don't, you know, so I don't know what's going on. Oh, what's going on, guys? What's going on, guys? Up, guy. Hold on. Let me scroll back, cause I'm missing it. Yeah, I think I need glasses. Okay. Well, you know what, gossip guy? Then that's okay. You know what? Then that's my fault. So, I trust your judgment. Okay. But then I, I would say only mute if they're really, really obnoxious then at that point. You know what I mean? Like if they're just kind of like, you know, like I think three warnings is probably fair. You know, like if you give them one, two, and then a third warning and they don't adjust their attitude, then okay. You know, I, I, can, I can agree with you on that. So there we go, horror. So that's, if that's a, you know, I think that's a fair plan. Give them the three strikes, you know, you're out. And if you get muted, you get blocked. You know, because you're right. They are retaliatory because they are Scientologists. That guy lives in Clearwater. I guarantee you he's a Scientologist. You know, he's not just living there. I doubt they own Clearwater. If not, his family's in it or his best, everyone he knows is in it. I'm just coming back here. See if anything's going on here. So I don't know. I miss my peeps in Hollywood. So hopefully I'll be down there Friday. But I'm glad I came here today. Like, I'm actually glad I came down here. Like, I, I call it, what do you call it? Reconnaissance? Recon? On a recon. And then I would love to come down here with, like, SP Spangles. He gets down there with the megaphone. I saw him on one of his videos down here. I know he gets on, um, gets on down here. So I want to see more people. I want to come down here more. This is boring. So, um, no, it's not near the blue building. The blue building is actually isn't too, too far from the Hollywood building. It's going further downtown. Um, the blue building is near Children's Hospital. It's on, I think, Vermont. Um, I don't know, is it Sunset in Vermont? I, I, I can't think. This is north, this is in the valley. This is like over the hill into the valley. 
Um, yeah, I know. Cap is being, um, do I have to mute myself and, and yell at him? I'm kidding. Tonight we're in uh, North Hollywood, uh, the Scientology of North Hollywood. Very different uh, vibe. They have a huge parking lot filled. That's something you don't see in Hollywood. You don't see parking lots. You don't see much parking out here. It's amazing they have that much parking out here. Um, you know, parking is a premium out here. Parking is a premium. Yeah, they do have a picnic area. And I want, but but Gasakai, do you know like you know how it has that bridge over to that other building? Like it looks like that other building was probably like where the Sunday schools would have been in a real church. But I'm wondering what it is here. Like, do you ha have any remembrance or knowledge of what it was? Yeah, I've been inside too. Yeah, it is gorgeous. I know him and I both because like with, um. Yeah, and they try to give the VIP recruitment treatment. I, I, I turned it down, and I made Ellie, I made them tell them to stop, you know, setting me every day, you know, like constant harassment. It's like I don't want no VIP invite. I don't want any invite, nothing. You know, I don't want to see a personality test. I don't want a free screening. I don't want none of it. Oh, here's someone at the desk. Oh, let's see. Kind of check that out. Let's see a grandpa-tology behind there. I wonder who... I wonder if they're Sea Org. Or I know they have workers, too, that aren't Sea Org. Oh, the special cookies. I know. I'd be like... And then you say they have their own water, like, their own name, like, on the water bottles? Or was that someone else? Because I didn't do the VIP tour. He, he did the VIP tour. He got sucked. Not he wasn't sucked. That he was curious, you know, right? And then, um, yeah, they do. They put the beautiful people in Hollywood. Yeah, Laura was talking about that last night. Was it Laura? Like they're not gonna. If you're ugly, you're, you're gonna be here probably, <laughs> or somewhere else. Like I didn't see any. Uh, no one looking too hot and gorgeous. But I don't see a lot of workers here. Oh, there's that lady. Remember, she didn't want to talk to me, so. Okay, yeah, she's real comfortable here. She she may be a worker. Oh, sure, Heather. Yeah, no, I know it's been here for years. Like I said, I've been, um, Gossip Guy and I, we've both been in here. Um, I, I, I was in here for uh, the emergency preparedness event that LAPD would um, put on and CPAB would put on. And they were like, oh, you can use our campus for free. And they're like, oh, okay. Uh, look, oh, okay, they're sending him around the back. I'm going to go around back. They're sending that guy around back. Let's see if, I'm going to see if I can catch him around back. See, they're being sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky. I'm going to surprise him. Yeah, the older people, the people with money too. I think they want to. I think they want this place to look like it's like high, like you know, like you have money. Hi, right, did did you take a class tonight? Are you like what are what level are you? Have you been here a long time? Like, is it informative? Is it helpful? Would it benefit me to join? Do they recruit here? He didn't expect to see me. He did not expect to see me. He was not. <laughs> Sorry if I startled you. <laughs> see that? See they? Oh, sorry. There's a lady there. Sorry, my camera. Camera works out too good right now. But there's a lady there. I guess she escorted him. Interesting. So good. You know what? I just put it on there. It's on there. Oh, I mean, other people have come here because Nasty Nathaniel comes here. And I know SP Spanglish comes here. So they know. They're, it's not like they're immune to... The, but they haven't had the, the Hollywood protest here. I would love to see it get big here like it is there. Because it all needs to go, you know. 
these are the, the people going here are the people funding this nonsense because the people in the Sea Org, they don't have any money. They're not funding it. It's these people. They got money and they come here. Oh, you know, when you get to OT3, you're already paying 250000 for that nonsense. So, um, so these people have money. We'll see if I see. I think we might be, I don't know, done. So I might get going now. Oh, is that his car? Is he not want to leave because he's afraid? Is it, they're probably afraid I'd get his license plate, but it doesn't mean nothing. It's not like anyone can run it. But I want to see if he seems... I was wondering, I, I thought maybe they would call the cops. It would be a waste of resources. So he's just sitting there, he's sitting in his car. I'm glad I brought my hand warmer thing. I forgot my gloves, but got my hand warmer thing. It's this thing. I got it from the TikTok shop. It works pretty good. It's like a it's like a hand it's like a hand warmer. Um, the thing wasn't too expensive. It was like you pay for this freaking shipping though. But it is keeping my hands warm. It is cold tonight. But the wind it's supposed to have a windstorm. But so far I'm grateful that there's been no windstorm. It is really cold. I know. I'm so glad I remember this. I wish I remembered my gloves. My feet are freezing. It's really cold tonight. It's supposed to be really windy. So I want to get out of here and, and take off before it gets too windy. But I'm curious. I'd like to see. Oh, wait. Oh. oh, that's your other parking lot. I heard someone talking and I'm like, I, I wasn't quick enough. Oh, no, that's, that's his friend. But look, that's another parking lot that they have. So they have that huge parking lot. And then they have this parking lot. So, yeah, I've seen it where both parking lots are so full. And then they have, like, um, the LAPD on overtime doing their traffic control on Sunday morning. It was a Sunday morning. I need to come out here on a Sunday morning. And Chris, with, uh, you know, without a Hellcat, I want him to come out here with me. You know, and we're just interview people, maybe other people too, because they're not doing anything in Hollywood in, on a Sunday morning. So, this may be the place to to get some info before they, you know, before they're all given the memo to zip it. Man, that guy! I bet you when I leave, that guy's gonna go. I don't know why they're so scared. Huh? Oh. They were carrying one of those things. What level are you guys? Was, was it a good class? Like, I'm curious what goes on at this one. We're not going to hurt you. You don't have to run it from the behind. Do they tell you not to talk to us? Are they worried? I guess they're worried. We look scary, I guess. We're just here looking for information. Protest comes later. Right now, we're just being... We don't have enough people. Oh, yeah, are we done? Oh, boring. <laughs> so that was two people. I said three people. So one more person has to come out. Chris is talking to a side guy who... Troublemaker Joey with the... Oh, uh, I love the dog, though. The dog is so cute. I see now <laughs> the two ladies come and now the guy's willing to leave. So I guess he's like, uh, okay, I can make my run now. What does he think? I'm going to chase him down? Apparently they have to sign out of the desk in front because that's where they were first. That's how I knew they were leaving. Oh, uh, okay. So yeah, they must keep track. Interesting. Okay, guys, how my battery's going low now too. Oh, I need to bring a... So I'm just as boring as hell out of it. Yeah, I mean, they're probably all get, catching up on their sleep and their classes. That one guy says it's interesting. He's been in it 35 years. I'm, I'm, I'm interested in the people that are in it. I really want to sit and chat with them. Like, I wish, I'm hoping I can get them to talk with me because I want to know what keeps them motivated for 35 years. 
Yeah, save their dogs. There you go. And, um, and save the children. That's what we need to do. Save the children from being... They cannot consent. That's the absolute truth. Oh, here's people. Let me see. No, I think they get ready to go home. Are you guys going? Are, are you guys members? Are, do you guys take classes here? Or are you, I'm trying to find out if neighbors don't like it. Are they Are they good neighbors? Are you neighbors or are you belong? You know, because I'm trying to find how the neighbors feel. Do they like that Scientology is here or are they upset? I don't really know. You don't? Well, we do live right here. Okay. We don't really see any. You don't, they don't do anything bad. Like, do, how about the neighbors? Do they care that they're here or they're just so used to it? Yeah. They're just more used to it. They get just kind of, okay, that makes sense. Because if they're not really doing anything out openly. But they are a cult. Yeah. I want to let you know they're a cult and they are very big. They human traffic children they bring children from like different countries uh i know a guy's like um like they brought him from mexico and from like 12 years old he has to work like 14 hours a day instead of going to school and the parents had to give up custody of their kids you know to the church so they they are into human trafficking of kids all over the world so Yeah, right, and it, the building looks normal, but it's not. There's a lot going on, so you might want to bring awareness to, you know, there's, like, right now they're protesting down in Hollywood, but the whole thing, like, it's starting to really come out. Like, if you look up SPTV, um, not, not as, like, all that LA on, on um, TikTok, but SPTV on YouTube, you'll see what they're up to, and, what, and people, these are people who grew up in it as children. It's horrible, so I would love for the neighbor to, neighborhood to know What's really going on with these people? I appreciate that. Sure. Thank you too for chatting with me. Thank you. Okay. Okay. All right, and I'm gonna go around back because they said that someone's gonna be leaving. Let me see. So I suppose they said they don't know it. Yeah, it makes sense. They're you know they're not going to advertise that they're human traffickers and that they're bringing kids in and but i'm glad hopefully he'll look up i would love because sptv everyone's because uh, uh, um literally church is on there laura's on there like a whole bunch of people are on there that are ex-scientologists that grew as kids you know they grew up in it um so he said two more are going to be coming back And then after this, I'm going to pack it up, guys. But, you know, that's a good idea. We need to, you know, maybe get flyers, like information, or, you know, get, um, like, a list of everybody's TikTok and YouTube and stuff and some basic information and just print it and pass them out to the community. You know, so, you know, I'll... I, that's something that volunteers can do. Like, if they don't want to, you know, be vloggers or they don't want to be on camera, that would be a great way to help. And I don't know where Will is. Yeah, I don't know. See, now, look, he, uh, they're saying there's two more people coming back, but now they're not. Or they might wait. I don't know what, what they're afraid of. All I had to do is walk by the camera and not answer. That's it. Like, ignore it. You don't have to be scared. Maybe if I get out of the way, maybe I'll go over here and make it seem like I've left. You know, ambush them with questions if they come out. I'll give it a couple minutes. But there's so many people here. Like, this is a good one. I think it's, I want to come out here again. I might. I might split up between here and... Because um, I really want to see what the neighborhood... I want to see what these people are doing. It's like fresh canvassing. And I hope... I'm going to put an invite to whoever wants to come. Chris, without a Hellcat, you like to interview too. So let's do it together. See, every <laughs> the neighbors are all on that side. They know something's up. But we need to bombard the neighbors. So... 
technical questions. Oh, I better not say bombard the neighbors because, you know, they might call in it as a fake bomb threat. That's what they would do. Are oh, they trying to win them over to come all the way to North Hollywood? That'd be cool. If not, I'm going to do it. I'm going to come back. I'm going to come back during the day and I'm going to come back at different times. Like, I'm not going to make this my permanent place. I'm going to mix it up between the two because I find I'm fascinated. I want to know, you know, what's going on here. And it seems like people, I mean, I guess now they're going to say, oh, don't talk to these people. But you know what? On Sundays, it's so busy. Not everyone's going to read the memo. I guarantee it. I need to come out here. But... So Joey's down there right now. Oh, uh, well, that's what that's what the, Joseph did that to me the other day too. I didn't post the interview yet, so I don't know if you saw it. He's begging me to tell them to call him Joseph and to not uh, not to tease his dog because it hurts his feelings. And I get that. I'm such a dog person. That I, I don't like, you know, I love the dog. Like, and I try to be nice. Like, I am. So I'm not trying to be mean to Joseph or whatever. You know, like, I just want to stop. I, I just want them, these people to stop trafficking kids and stop poisoning the mind of this community and all this crappy stuff they do. Oh, I don't know what's going on. Okay. Oh, someone left that way. Oh, so they're sneaking out. It looks like they're getting like some in the front, some in the back. But guys, I'm going to hate to leave. I'm going to have to leave because I think he, he, he needs to get home early for uh he has a very early day tomorrow, so he, he likes going out, you know, and doing his stuff too, but um, I know he wants to get going now, so I'm going to leave, but thank you, everyone. Thank you for coming. Thank you for chatting. Thank you for those who gifted. You're very much appreciated, um, and hopefully tomorrow, well, tomorrow I don't think I can go to Hollywood. Friday, I plan on going to Hollywood. If I can um, go out in the yeah. day... Um, early Wait, i want to see again i um if i can go out in the day or something to get this real quick before i have to go where i have to go tomorrow night then i will try to do that i'll try at least to maybe hopefully get down to the the metro to see if they are at least recruiting during the day we'll get more info but thanks everybody i appreciate you all and thank you horror and um gossip for being great mods i appreciate you so much have a great evening everyone bye